Good day. This week we're looking at stopping the leak. And uh, we've seen how we need to stop the leak in our relationship with God by pressing into a relationship with Him. This morning I want to talk, us, talk about emotional leaks. You know, we live in a world with stressed out people who are emotionally drained and are on the edge with regards to their emotions and are often medicating their emotions through pills or through alcohol or through drug abuse, just trying to get some kind of peace. And one of the first things we've got to realize, man, if you're in a hole, stop digging. You need to get yourself out of these things. And one of the ways that we can do that is to recognize, man, God has created you with emotions. Emotions are important and we live from what we are believing, but our emotions follow our predominant thoughts in life. You know, in Proverbs 17, 20, it says a crooked heart finds no good thing. So it might be that if I'm not finding any good thing, it could be because my heart is crooked and I'm allowing thoughts to affect my heart negatively. The same is true positively. It says in uh, Proverbs, it says a cheerful heart brings a smile to your face. A sad heart makes it hard to get through the day. A miserable heart means a miserable life. A cheerful heart fills the day with a song. (laughs) It's just saying here, man, I get to choose what kind of day I'm going to have, whether it's going to be miserable or joyful based on the condition of my heart. So what are you allowing to affect your heart, which will affect your emotions? What are you thinking about that is your predominant thought that is affecting your heart where you begin to feel certain emotions within you? Because you do get to choose this. If you change your thinking, you can change your emotions and change your heart beliefs. So I want to encourage you, how do we stop emotional leaks? How do we get to the place where we can experience peace throughout the day and have this experience of joy? Well, the first thing is you've got to believe that God is at peace with you, that you have peace with God. In Romans 5, 1 in the Amplified Bible, it says, Therefore, since we have been justified, that is acquitted of sin, declared blameless before God by faith, Let us grasp the fact that we have peace with God and the joy of reconciliation with Him through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One. So he's saying here, man, for me to experience an abiding sense of peace, it's to really believe in my heart that I've been acquitted of all sin and that I have been declared blameless before God. What a wonderful emotion that you are in a relationship with God where He finds no fault with you. Having peace with God, knowing that God is at peace with you, is the first thing for peaceful emotion. Secondly, we often need to change our beliefs. You know, we operate from what we are believing in our heart. In Romans 15, 13, it says, May the God of your hope so fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound and be overflowing or bubbling over with hope. So you've got to ask yourself the question, man, where are my emotions when it comes to hope? Am I actually bubbling over with hope? With Hope is a confident expectation of good. Or am I looking at the future with a sense of despair? See, the Bible is very clear here that my when I start to believe God anchored in His love for me, That experience produces joy and hope. And I want to encourage you, man, for you to stabilize your emotions, change your beliefs, and start to activate your heart in terms of trusting God. And thirdly, let God be God. Don't try and control everything. You know, many people are trying to control every step. Sometimes you've just got to let God be God. In Psalm 118, 8, it says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. Man, it's so much better to put your hope and confidence in God. In Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. So my job is to trust Him and acknowledge Him and not lean on my own understanding. And His job will be that He will direct my paths. So I want to encourage you today. Don't allow your emotions to get so low where you've leaked out completely and you've got nothing left. But press into God knowing, man, that He's at peace with you, that you can have peace with Him, that you can change your heart by believing the truth 
and you can trust God in the process. Always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God.